name's Shane Campaign. Uh, I live in Darwin, Northern Territory. I've lived here my whole life. I'm 34 years of age. I'm not going to move anywhere else. <laughs> I've travelled, done all that sort of stuff, but Darwin's my hometown and I ain't going anywhere because they've got the beloved Barramundi. I've done a fair bit of travelling. I've caught a lot of different fish around the world. There's just something about Barramundi that every time you go, the passion, the drive to feel that hit. They're not an easy fish to catch. They're challenging. The size, calipar, the places that they take you. You know, you can catch them in fresh water, salt water. You can catch them in little tiny creeks. Just the whole experience of where chasing barramundi takes you. There's nothing more that a fish can really do for an angler that a barramundi can do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's smoking it. That's so cool. To break down what the territory is like, it's it's wild. It, it is pretty much like the last frontier in Australia. I've been able to experience the outdoors and it's it's pure rawness how far we travel in a day. You know, we drive two hours in a car and we get in a boat and we do 150 kilometers one way. You don't see boats, the crocodiles in the waterways, the tides. It's a very dangerous place. If you not know what you're doing, it, it is a very wild place. And, so that's the cool part about the Territory, being able to experience the outdoors without human impact. That's, that's what I love about it. It's obviously my drive with competition fishing. I was toying with going to America and selling up here and, you know, selling up and going over there and giving that bass scene, a, giving it a crack because that was kind of like that next stepping stone to improving and learning. Got my long service and shot over to, over to America, I think for six weeks. Through Abbey Garcia, I met up with some of their sponsored anglers and wow, did I learn some stuff like rods, reels, casting weights, you know, back in the day. Six foot was the longest rod we used. Now I use seven foot 11. So being able to go to America and meet those other anglers that they do it for a living. So they're on the water six days a week, or I go on the water what, two days a week if I'm lucky at the moment, or once a week, you know, on my day off, but they do it for a job. So to get on a boat with those sort of anglers and just take the knowledge in from them and why they use those um, Abu rods, uh, the lengths, the weights, was a huge stepping stone to me to bring back to Australia and apply the techniques. It has improved my fishing out of sight because at the end of the day, it helps you convert more fish. Yo. Put it on. That was sick! So the key features with uh, looking for a bait cast reel, especially to use up here in the Territory, just because of the environment, uh, number one would be drag pressure. You, you can never have enough drag. You, know, you got the old thumb, but as I'm targeting bigger fish and as anglers are trying to target that next caliper in fish, we're throwing bigger soft plastics, bigger hard baits. And, you know, end of the day, you want a bigger fish, generally you need to throw bigger stuff. So drag capacity definitely would have to be probably number one. And number two to that would be durability. If six months down the track, this brand new really you've got the gears are grinding and, and it feels horrible in your hand, that, that's no good. You need something that you can retire in six, seven years time and then pick it up and it could still be like the day you bought it. That's one of the real important things. And it, it's your value for your money, you know. Products should be made, so buy one, then you've got something for life. <laughs> like the logo, Abu Garcia for life. <laughs>